So I have uh, another recommendation from Lucas Sony. Uh, do I have Anadonia? Hopefully I said that right. And do I experience PSSD? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about Anadonia first. Um, I'm kind of the exact opposite. I kind of, like, I, I try to live, like, I'm kind of like a hedonistic lifestyle almost. It's suffering and shit. I, I always want that pleasure. I, like, going to the gym for me, I get that rush. I'm, I'm like, addicted to it, you know? Um, playing ball. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get depressed, but like I, I just I feel I get severely depressed, but I still I'm still able to do things. Though it's weird, I don't know. Like I have like I guess my depression's different than others, but I'm like still able to do things though. So I I don't like to feel like shit. I like to fucking do things that make me feel good, you know. So I don't really experience anhedonia that much, you know. But to answer your PSSD, um, yeah, I did experience that when I took medicines. I took, um, I took, like, antidepressants and stuff that had bad sexual side effects. I felt like I wasn't, like, um, I wasn't really, like, um, interested in anything, man. You know, when I wasn't on those medicines, I was horny all the time, dude. Like, I was trying to get with girls and all that stuff, but ever since I took medicines, it just, like, uh, I feel like I have no interest in doing anything with the, sec like, sexually, you know? It just feels weird, you know? That's what's fucked up about those medicines. Like, they give you these bad side effects, and they say they want you to feel better and stuff, but people want to get off these medicines because of these side effects, like, no sexual interest or fucking, um, like, gaining weight, you know what I mean? And that's the stuff I hated, and that's why I didn't like a lot, I don't like a lot of medicines, you know? But yeah, I did experience PSSD, man. I know, I know how you feel about that, you know? Like, if you do take SSRIs or, um, like, antipsychotics or certain mood stabilizers that make you experience that, talk to your doctor, you know, maybe they'll probably work out something with you, maybe give you a better medicine that won't let you do that, you know what I mean, or maybe not use medicine in general, you know, because these psychiatrists are very biased with medicine, you know, and not saying medicines are, are bad, you know, because they work in some way, like the one I take is lithium, and it does work, I haven't been taking it in five days because... I, I took a blood test at the hospital, and I haven't had a call back. They said I would get the results the next day, and they didn't call me back. I'm just worried that I'm going to get a withdrawal, man, you know, and I'm working at this place and stuff like that. I'm just worried. I haven't experienced really that much yet, but it might I might get something, dude, you know. I haven't got a call back or nothing, so... Yeah, maybe talk to your doctor about, um, about, like, not taking that medicine or something, you know? So I know how you feel, man. It just makes you feel like shit having that. PSSD, you know? Like, I tell my doctor, I don't want any of those side effects. The, the one that has the least side effects of that, you know? It's just terrible, you know? Because when you have anhedonia, you don't have, ple like, interest in anything and stuff, you know, and it makes you feel like a robot or something, you know, and you just don't feel like doing nothing because of it, you know what I mean? It's just terrible. Plus, experiencing too much pleasure, though, you don't want to experience too much of it because it can fuck you up, you know, it can run your money and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, maybe if you want to, like, maybe my, maybe, because I'm kind of biased with the gym, but maybe go to the gym more. Maybe work out, you know? Maybe your energy, energy levels will go higher, because my energy levels are fucking crazy ever since I went to the gym consistently over six years and 
playing ball for a long time and like being physically active, you know, that can help with your pleasure problems, you know, you feel good, you know what I mean? I don't know. Or do anything that helps you with your pleasure, like playing video games or um, friends or um, like things that make you feel good, you know? Try to do that more or something. I don't know. I don't know how to solve that issue really. So I'm kind of, I'm t I'm just the, I'm kind of the, I'm kind of the opposite. Like I, I hate suffering in this world, so I do distractions as many as much as I can to not have his pleasure, you know. So that's how I feel about that, you know. Yeah, that's why I don't like these medicines with that PSSD, dude. Like it's just have no interest, like, you know, I just remember when I didn't take those medicines, I felt, you know, I, w I would never have kids and shit, obviously, but I, I just felt more hornier and kind of, you know, um, I just had more interest to talk to women, you know, I felt like, I, I still do now, but it's not as much, it just feels weird, you know, um, yeah, um, I'll catch you guys with another one. Now, actually, actually, I'm going to do another, uh, recommendation from, from you with this one. Have I taken LSD? Um, no. I had a chance to in college, but I was just, a, I, since I, I had, like, problems and, and stuff when I was younger and all the ab abuse and, um, all the bullying and shit and, all the, the P, like, the intrusive thoughts and fucking, my, I wasn't in the right state of mind to try it, you know? Even though I was interested, I, I never wanted, I wanted to try it, but I'm just afraid of, like, the bad trips, you know? And people judging me while I'm on that, you know? But I had, my brother experienced LSD, and he loved it. He loved LSD. He had a good, he had a good experience. Like, that's, my brother's on my YouTube video, too. He, that's the one I took LSD. And Paul, the guy, Paul, if you watch that video, he took it, too. And he says it just, it just, it makes you feel more introspective, I heard. And it just, it, it lowers your ego, you know. Which is a good thing, and it, I don't, you don't see things and shit. I, I understand you took it, you know, but as well, it's not like I, I want to fucking see like aliens and shit. But it's just something cool to try. I would definitely love to try it in the future. Um, when I don't feel stressed out and all that shit, I'm in a good state of mind and. I would love to try a psychedelic like I was day. You know? But I heard it can cause people that have mental illnesses, psychosis and stuff. That's why I'm afraid of, you know? I, that's why I don't want to take psychedelics. You know what I mean? Because I did experience psychosis and all that stuff. You know, depersonalization. And I just don't want to experience that, you know? Um... Yeah, definitely in the future, I'd love to try out this thing. So, yeah, if you want to talk about your experience on the comment section or make a video or something, I'd love to hear about it or see, see in the, like, what you have to say in the comment section. So, catch you guys with another one.